The next award we will present this evening is a Distinguished Public Service Award. It is my honor to present this year's award to State Treasurer Denise L. Napier. Good evening, everybody. I do want to start off by thanking uh, Eric, Peter Kelly, the, um, the retired judge, uh, for their gracious tribute and for presenting uh, this public service award on behalf of the Connecticut Bar Association. It is with tremendous pride that I accept uh, this special recognition from CBA, whose members I greatly respect and whose mission is as vital and essential today as it has ever been. And I'm also proud to share this evening with distinguished individuals who have made such meaningful contributions in their respective area of endeavor. Congratulations to you, my fellow stars. <clears throat> If there is a common thread here today, it is that nothing worth doing comes easily. And that degree of difficulty should not be a factor in the equation when it comes to doing what is right. And from my perspective, doing what's right is synonymous with smart investments. Take, for example, climate change and my shareholder activism on that issue. Climate change may very well be about the future health of our planet, but it's also about the health of companies in which our state funds are invested and the impact on the retirement savings of millions of Americans. As a result, we have every right to know what is being done and how our companies will protect their bottom line and therefore the value of our investments. In so many ways, tonight's recognition is a reaffirmation of the noble profession of public service and as demonstrated by the added value and tireless efforts of the women and men of the Connecticut Treasury. Some of my colleagues are here tonight, led, led by our general counsel, Catherine Lamar. Uh, where is she? Catherine, raise your hand. <clears throat> She and her in-house legal team are to be credited with our judicious and measured approach to securities litigation and the overall management of our asset prevention and recovery program, the first of its kind in state history, uh, which has recovered more than $1.4 billion so far and saved our state millions, billions, I should say, more. Will the... Um, Will, the, will all the Treasury members just stand up and take a bow that are here? <laughs> and to my Sojourner Truth sisters who are here tonight, please raise your hand. <laughs> I want to thank you so much for your support uh, for nearly two decades and for making it possible for me to travel on the public service path that you, and you all know well, helped to fortify back in the day. Now, public service is not only ingrained in the culture of my office, it's in my DNA. And that includes, among other things, empowering young people and women, well, some men too. <laughs> Overall, <clears throat> it is about making an inclusive difference um, as a net plus financially, from the kitchen tables of our most needy and average citizens to the boardrooms of America's leading corporations, from Main Street to Wall Street, and the communities across our state and country and on the global front. The award you have given me this evening enables me to approach it with renewed dedication, replenished energies, and I sincerely thank you for it.